Hi everyone, my name is Beth Purdue, and for my particular chapter that I chose, it's called, um, the book is called The American Zion by Iran Shalev, and the chapter is called The United Tribes or States of Israel, the Hebrew Republic as a Political Model Before the Civil War. I found this article, this particular chapter of extreme interest. I took uh, Judaic studies as my minor and I never heard one single thing about this and I really feel like it's been a huge disservice to us as not only as a society but as Christians in general. Um, we constantly talk about ourselves as being a Christian Judaic society, a Judeo-Christian society, but we don't actually know what that means nor do we understand the depth that it goes in our in our constitution and all of our founding documents it's not just a well some of our founding fathers were christians and they put in nice little biblical terms and things inside of the constitution and um that's all it was it was way more than that and this chapter was was so interesting to look into to study and to do a little bit of background on um, so, uh, Hebraic studies, Hebraic political studies is actually a relatively new thing. It's where, where scholars, historians are using the Bible as the launching pad for how our documents and how our government was actually formed. So, we have three branches to our government, and that is basically how Moses established um, the Jewish society, the Hebrew society. Now, the Hebrews would not did not always have a political society. If we go way back, we talk about Abraham. Abraham was a tribal system. Um, uh, Jacob was tribal. I mean, all of this was tribal up until the children of Israel actually left um, Egypt. So when they left Egypt and they went into the promised land, they then needed to have some sort of a government. Um, so that is where where it kind of picks up is the fact that the the Israelites needed government and this is how it got established. So we have this mosaic constitution. In other words, the oldest complete constitution in our possession, according to one of its modern students, provided early Americans with a divinely sanctioned historical archetype. So we have this this um, philosophy that was being taught, but not really. Um, it hasn't really been discussed. We look at things as being, um, they designed it after uh, the Greeks and the Romans. We designed our government after them. Well, before them was actually the Israelis and the Israeli government. Well, this was a, um, a theistic um, sort of a political system where God was in charge. He then gave the word to a judge, which would have been some something similar to um, maybe Joshua in the early stages or some something like that, where God specifically spoke to the people through someone else. So this was the first part of it. But then after that, you actually have the um, council or the Grand Sanhedrin, which would have been on a larger scale. And then after that, you have the breakdown of the tribes in and of themselves. So we have the 12, 12 tribes of Israel, and each one of them would have had a representative or a head of the tribe. So the reason or, or how this impacts us is that it was being talked about in in political circles back then between um, pain talking about this this type of idea of a Hebraic society and our government um, in common sense we had preachers preaching about it we had um, modern historians who are starting to talk about this one in particular Eric Nelson he wrote the Hebrew Republic specifically talking about revolutionary Americans and the impact that the Israeli nation had on the founding foundation of our government. So um, not only were, were preachers talking about it, different political factions were talking about it. We have um, uh, common people talking about the type of government that the Hebrews would have had and how our government should have been formed. Now, a lot of the people who were speaking out about government back before the revolution and during the revolutionary period, or we're talking about the European governments and talking badly about the monarchy and saying the monarchy was evil. And you know what? God warned the Israeli people that if they chose a monarch, if they chose a king over a direct um, a theistic um, political 
um, mode, then they would have problems, and they did. We saw that, we see that through Europe, we see that through all of these other societies. And so um, I think it's really important that we understand that our constitution and our, our way of doing government was founded not just on some biblical Christian idea, but on the actual thing that God set up for his own people. So that's interesting.